Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of the uh, Mass Effect walkthrough. And I should be hearing sound, but my I guess my headphones are off. Yeah, there we go. Footsteps. Alright, um... We were told to talk to... Joker, in order to land... Um... On the Citadel, or dock there. Ow. We thought we uh, missed some codex entries and panels, but I guess not. Hmm, strange. Anyway, there is. This is fun. The buttons for running are always different in every single game I play, and it's annoying. Anyway, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Lovely. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. What a wonderful person, isn't he? And that's why I hate politicians. Roger to Ashley. Roger to all right, nice fake clouds. I assume they're fake. They look so, I don't know, painted on the ceiling. <laughs> Get them moving, so it must be some sort of screen. Whatever. It's a weird sight, you know, seeing uh, it curve up like that. It's a nice place. Very nicely done. Let's investigate Eugenia's office. Ooh, what do we find here? 
Hmm. No one's looking, right? Oh. Here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reports some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rogue Cluster. She had particular concerns about a hydro system which was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do you want to send in a recon team? I guess we'll do that. Alright. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Why would you wonder that? Sick mind. Sure is peaceful here. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, we are now at the uh, Citadel Presidium. And there's a lot to do here. Citadel is a really big place, uh, uh, one of the largest areas. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. Alright. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. I love these creatures. <laughs> Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. No kidding. <laughs> I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? What's up? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight in telling the Genuine history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Oh, I love it. I should talk like that. Alright, history. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. <laughs> I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Nice talking and to you. See your farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy Thank you. Your time on the Citadel. Oh, there are a lot of uh, codex entries to uh, gather here, so if you're not really interested in those, um, you might as well just skip talking to most people. But, uh, I don't know, it's quite interesting. And if you want uh, the achievement from for the codex stuff, then you might as well talk to everyone. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? 
I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, <laughs> Earth Clan. Oh, go ahead. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. Dan. <laughs> the Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We I've got a lot of no details. Say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. What a wonderful fellow. Goodbye, ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Oh. <laughs> what did you do, Selvan? Where can I find the Cesari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. See. Those two elk will look like exactly the same. Even the same... Whatever piece of clothing they're wearing. Oh no. No! Oh, God. No, not trying to shoot anyone. Sorry. Wrong button. That's a keeper. We'll learn more about them in a sec. Alright, here we have Chancellor's... Uh, Chancellor Udina's office. Or Ambassador Udina's office. This leads to... Nowhere. Alright. Let's go down here. Uh, this will be confusing. Because there's a lot to do here in the Citadel. Plenty of areas and quite large areas. I'll try to be as uh, precise as possible, but... Uh, 
you know. Don't blame me if even I get uh, <laughs> lost or do stuff in the wrong order. That will happen. <laughs> I warn you in advance. Anyway, here is from the uh, uh, receptionist. Good day, Commander. The, the human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. Thank you.